Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is Modular Arithmetic. Lesson 7, Selected Problems in Modular Arithmetic, Part 1. In this lesson, we want to randomly pick some problems and provide solution to them. Example 36, construct a table of modular subtraction for modulo 7. For modulo 7, you should know that in modulo 7, there are 7 elements from 0 to 6. So you arrange them in columns and rows. Then you subtract. Noting that you can subtract using two methods, the anti-clockwise method where you move from right to left or you carry out the normal subtraction and make sure that if the remainder is negative, you have to add it to modulo 7 so that it becomes positive. Okay, so we take the first element in the row and subtract each element in the column from it. So we have 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 1. Ordinarily, it is minus 1. But because minus 1 is not an element in modulo 7, you add minus 1 to 7, it becomes 6. For that reason, 0 minus 2 is 5, 0 minus 3 is 4, 0 minus 4 is 3, 0 minus 5 is 2, and 0 minus 6 is 1. You take the second element in the, in, in, in the row, so where you have 1 minus 0, is 1, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. If you add it to modulo 7, it becomes 6, and as such, you have 1 minus 3 is 5, 1 minus 4 is 4, 1 minus 5 is 3, and 1 minus 6 is Two. Ordinarily, 1 minus 6 is minus 5. If you add minus 5 to 7, it becomes 2. If you do that, let's jump to the fifth element in the row, that is 4. So you have 4 minus 0 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 2 is 2. 4 minus 3 is 1, 4 minus 4 is 0, 4 minus 5 now is 6, you know 4 minus 5 is minus 1, if you add minus 1 to 7 it becomes 6, and 4 minus 6 is 5. If we take the last element that is 6, 6 minus 0 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 4, 6 minus 3 is 3, 6 minus 4 is 2, 6 minus 5 is 1, and 6 minus 6 is 0. If you check all the results, they are element from 0 to 6, because in modulo 7, the lowest element is 0 and the highest element is 6. Example 37. Construct a table of modular multiplication for modulo 5. The elements in modulo 5 are 5. From 0 to 4, you arrange them in rows and 
taking the first element in the row to multiply each element in the column that is 0 times 0 times 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 you have 0 0 0 0 0 the second element in the row is 1 so 1 times 0 is 0 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 1 times 3 is 3 and 1 times 4 is 4 if you take the third element that is 2 2 times 0 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 3 is 1 and 2 times 4 is 3 you know 2 times 4 is 8 8 is not an element in module 5 if you divide 8 by 5 you have one remainder 3 that is the 3 that you have there the last element 4 times each element in the column you have 4 times 0 is 0 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 3 I know you know why now 4 times 3 is 2 you know ordinarily 4 times 3 is 12 divide 12 by 5 you have 2 remainder 2 and 4 times 4 is 16 divide 16 by 5 you have 3 remainder 1 and you record the remainder hello example 38 copy and complete the tables below for addition and multiplication in module 5 you have the table and some missing element so after we complete the table it means we we'll know the missing elements then a using the tables evaluate bracket open 3 times 3 bracket close plus bracket open 2 plus 2 bracket close then b find m such that m times m is equal to m plus m solution the elements in bold are the missing elements so for the addition table for this zero the first missing element you have 2 plus 3 is 5 in module 5 5 is not an element if you divide 5 by 5 you have one remainder zero so you record remainder zero for the second element there is also zero that is three plus two the third element is one that is three plus three equal to six divide by five you have one remainder one the second table is multiplication the first element is one and one is from two times three two times three is six divide six by five you have one remainder one the second missing element in that row is three and that is from two times four that is eight divide eight by five you have one remainder three the third missing element there is one and that is three times two three times two is one and the last missing element is three and that is four times two is three now we evaluate this expression first you look for three times three so this is three then times three your meeting point is four so three times three 
is 4 then plus 2 plus 2 so this is 2 plus 2 the meeting point is 4 so 2 plus 2 is also 4 then you add 4 plus 4 so this is 4 plus 4 the meeting point is 3 so 4 plus 4 is 3 modulo 5 b we should find the value of m such that m times m is equal to m plus m you share the two table to the same values when multiply and add it, that we give the same number so let's start with one if you compare one for additional one plus one you have two then let's go to one times one is one so that is not possible then you move to two two times two you have four there okay two plus two you have four and two times two is also four so we have four when we add two to two and you have four also when you multiply two by two so for this to be true m is equal to two modulo five hello example 39 the federal executive council known as fake meeting is held every Wednesday if the seventh meeting was on February 20th of a given year apply mod modulo operations to find the date of the first fake meeting the tenth fake meeting the 20th fake meeting solution from the question meeting day is every when that is every seven seven days it is a circle so from wednesday to tuesday is one week then the next wednesday the meeting is being held from the question seventh meeting was february 20th from so we get the duration from january to february 20th from the beginning of the year to that's the, the day for the seventh meeting january has 31 days plus the first 20 days in february that is 51 days now the first fake meeting is sixth meeting backward from the seventh meeting first if you count from seven backward you have six you have five you have uh, four three two and one so the first meeting is sixth meeting backward so if you multiply six by seven that is seven days in a week now so six times seven is 42 days so the first fake meeting is 51 minus 42 that is six times seven now 42 days so you subtract 42 from 51 that is from january to february 20th and you have nine that is january 9th was the first fake meeting for that year so we have b part 10th fake meeting is three meetings ahead of the seventh meeting from seven you have eight nine ten that is three meetings ahead so you have three times seven that is 21 days time from the 20th of February it will take 21 days time for the 10th 
fake meeting to be held. So you have a uh, 20th plus the first seven days, you know, it's every one, one week, you have 27th. Now, 27th plus 7, that will take you to 6th of March. Then you have 6th of March plus another sale for the third week, that is 13th of March. So the 10th fake meeting will be 13th of March that year. See, the 20th fake meeting is 13th meetings ahead of 7th, that is ahead of the 7th meeting. So we have 7 times 13, that is 91 days time or 13 weeks. Following the procedures in B part, you keep on adding 7, that is for 30 weeks. By the time you add all the 13 weeks, to the seventh meeting, it will be 22nd of May, the 20th fake meeting for that year. Example 40, Morocco market is held every five days. If the next market would be Saturday, when was the last market day? Saturday is the seventh day in the week. We are interested in the last market day and the market is every five, five days. So here we do, we do an anti-clockwise movement moving backward now. That is from right to left by anti clockwise movement five days from saturday is tuesday that is saturday one you move to friday two you move to thursday three wednesday four then tuesday is five so the last market day was tuesday simple analysis example 41 otupo yam market is held every six days every six days if the first market for the year was wednesday on which day was the next market day all right so in this question, we start by considering the one of the week. So if the one is equal to Sunday, you have it that Wednesday, the first market will be fourth day of that week. Fourth day. Next market day is six days after. You have the fourth day, so the next market is six days after wednesday that is simply four plus six days equal to ten days with seven days a week third day in the week is equal to tuesday six days from wednesday must be tuesday so that the seventh day become wednesday again that is the, that is why the next market day will be tuesday by simple analogy that is simple analysis to that question end of lesson seven thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch art for more from the voice of peter Cos. Lastly, if you are not safe, your life is in crisis. To avoid that, you give your life to the one that can save you, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, and you confess him as your Lord and personal Savior every day of your life. If you are saved already, congratulations. Live righteously and be prepared.
because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flip every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you good bye